Hello there, my future Real Deal Registered Nurses. Sarah Michelle here with SM Nursing Reviews. And I wanted to provide a little intro to the next generation of NCLEX for you. So whether you've already scheduled your exam, or if you're looking for some extra tips, or if you're about to graduate nursing school with your exam right around the corner, you are absolutely in the right place. So let's just cover some basic items here about NCLEX. The newest format of the NCLEX exam, called Next Generation NCLEX, or NGN for short, was released in April of this year. So everyone from here on out will be taking this format of exam. Now, it focuses heavily on assessing clinical judgment, with a greater emphasis on critical thinking and decision-making skills. The NGN exam utilizes a new format for about 30% of the exam, which includes case-based scenarios and innovative item types like hotspot, multiple response, and extended drag and drop. And this exam format is designed to better prepare new nurses for the complexities and challenges of what we're seeing in healthcare today. And just to point out here, if we're changing 30% of the exam, that means that 70% of the exam did not change. So it's an important point to remember for your brain. So the exam itself is anywhere from 85 to 150 questions currently, and there are 15 practice questions in there. So 15 questions that don't help or hurt your score. NCLEX is called a CAT test, so a computerized adaptive test, meaning if you're doing well and the computerized system believes with 95% certainty that you are going to pass, then it's going to shut itself off at that time and the exam will just be over. So this can happen at question 85, which is the minimum number, or it can happen at question 150, which is the maximum number of questions, or anywhere between 85 and 150. You're also going to have five hours to take this exam and you're allowed to take two breaks during that time. And there are, of course, accommodations available for those of you who need it. So ideally, the more questions that you get right, the faster that your exam is going to be over. Generally, if the exam shuts off in 85 questions, unless you were just totally guessing and not prepared, it tends to mean that you passed. And this is because this computerized adaptive testing system will continue to try and give you low, medium, and hard questions to try to understand if you are competent. And if you are competent, it will let you become a registered nurse. Now, another big question, what is the passing score that's needed for this NCLEX? This is the never ending question. And due to the computerized adaptive testing, it's really hard to know for sure. As you get questions wrong, the questions you get after that get a little easier. And as you get questions correct, the questions you get after that get a little bit harder. And so to pass the NCLEX, the passing standard is what they refer to as 0, 0.00 logits, which I know sounds like a foreign computer language, but essentially think of getting those difficult questions correct about half of the time. Now, you can do this. In fact, the state-by-state -state overall passing average is greater than 80%, and so a vast majority of students are passing their NCLEX. However, you do not get immediate results when you pass your exam, and you will know if you passed or not within two business days of testing, and you're going to get an official report mailed out to you about six weeks later. Anxiety management is going to be key for you, not only as you prepare for this exam, but on your exam day as well, and we have a wide variety of resources for you available within our courses and coming out on this YouTube channel as well. Now, what does this exam look like? Well, there are case study based questions in addition to multiple choice, multiple response questions, hotspot, drag and drops. And so on an 85 question exam, a candidate can expect about three case studies. And these case studies are meant to simulate real client charts and scenarios. And then you're gonna be asked to answer questions regarding the scenario that was given to you. So if you're unsure, Definitely just try your very best. Not answering a question results in it being marked wrong. And rapid guessing can affect your score as well. Think about it. If you just start rapid answering or getting questions incorrect, 
the questions will be getting easier. And as you rapid guess on those, the adaptive system will get further away from that passing line. So make sure that you take the time to give each and every question your very best educated guess. Another important point is to check out that exam overview. And I actually provided a link to that within the description of this video, this exam overview. And the exam gives an overview that allows you to know which areas the exam is going to be testing you on. So the main focus of this exam is to ensure that you are a safe, competent, new registered nurse going out into practice. And these highlight the big things that you really want to focus your studies on. It's really that easy, and it takes all the guesswork out of your studying. So be sure to check this out. You never want to go into your exam and feel unprepared. And so this in-class exam will be assessing your ability in regards to four major areas. So that's a safe and effective care environment, health promotion and maintenance, psychosocial integrity, and physiological integrity. So deep breath. I know those terms may sound like a lot, but in reality, your nursing school has prepared you with this content and you've been prepared through clinicals too. And remember, the exam just wants to make sure that you are going to be a competent entry level. So that means brand new nurse and that you are going to be safe when you do so. So now let's talk a little bit more about the types of questions you could experience on your NCLEX. So we've talked about those case studies to work through. And you can also have standalone items as well. So standalone simply means that there is no case study that is attached to it. It's just a single question that you are familiar with from all those exams you've been taking in nursing school. And so these items may include things like extended multiple choice questions, which may have more than four answer choices, extended drag and drop, in which you may be able to leave some answers behind, closed questions, which are multiple drop-down options, matrix and grid questions. So these are scenarios of multiple options, and then you must categorize those options into essential, non-essential, harmful, etc. Hotspot, which can now take the form of selecting words or phrases that answer the question. Highlighting, so simply highlighting items that are correct, and then a trend item. So we're reviewing patient data over time and making clinical judgment decisions based on those. So we're gonna be putting together a video series here on YouTube that will help you walk through each type of these questions that you're going to see on your exam. And so make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss these videos as we're gonna be breaking down all these different styles of questions. We're gonna work through case studies and each of these standalone style questions to help you become more comfortable and more familiar with this exam layout. And as we said before, practice questions are a huge part of your exam preparation. And so the more you do, the easier all this will be on your big exam day. And now let's talk about some things to expect at the end of your exam. So remember that that NCLEX is a computerized adaptive test, as we said a couple of times now. And so if you're doing well and the system believes with 95% certainty that you're going to pass, it will shut itself off at that time and the exam is over. So don't panic because like we said, this can be a question 85, question 150, anywhere in between, and your score is not going to show up on the screen, nor will you get a score report immediately afterwards. So you are going to be notified on your portal about your exam results within two business days. So do whatever you need to do in those two business days to take care of yourself. You have worked so hard to get to this exam and it is time to do some self-care and pass the time until you get those results back. Now, after your exam, you may have a special research survey that contains extra exam questions where they are testing new question formats. So you can choose to complete this or you can end it any time by clicking end exam. These will not be counted within your score, and you're going to have a half hour to complete these extra questions if you choose to participate. And basically, you're just helping future students and participating in those new questions and formats so they can work out the kinks. Now, I know that was a lot of information about the NCLEX exam that you're going to be taking sometime very soon, but just remember, anxiety management and content preparation within our courses practice questions, and practice full-length exams 
will help you to prepare to be a real deal registered nurse very soon. And we are here to help you through this process and are excited to be a part of your journey. And so don't forget to tune into our video series about a different style of exam questions. And we're going to see you soon. So subscribe to our channel, friends. Happy studying.